Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 404, find the maximum length of valid subsequences 1. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. This one's kind of hard, um, I think it's given a medium in the context of a lot of people have done similar problems on the code. So I think if you haven't seen something that, rate, I mean, I, I, this is still a new problem, so I don't want to make it sound like if you have seen it before, or uh, I mean, obviously, if you've seen it before, then it's very easy. But uh, but even if you've seen a version of this before, like I did, it still took me some time to figure it out. So I, I want to say that this is not an easy problem, and you know, give yourself that grace to kind of just work it through. Um, you know, spend some time on it, and maybe work on easier problems with respect to like, because in Nico there, there are problems that talks about subsequences and trying to figure out the longest subsequence that does certain things, with, especially ones with mod. Uh, there's also a variation. The way that I want to think about it also is that there's a variation where you, you count the number of valid subsequences of, with certain properties with mod. Um, in this one, it is similar to that idea, um, except for uh, the way that I want to think about it is that it's similar to that idea, but use max instead to get the subsequence. Okay, so with that said, um, I'm going to try and earn this um, explain this problem, but as I said, I think that even though this is only a Q2, there is something um, foundational that you probably uh, have to do a couple of the code problems with respect to what I said before you will maybe understand and do this problem by yourself. Um, I think it's kind of, a, a, you know, uh, I think difficulty is like the difficulty level is very hard to gauge with these just because of that reason is because that um, because I, I think there is some like weird expectations of past problems where if you just haven't done those past problems, this is going to be like almost impossibly hard, I feel like. Um, but yeah, but okay. So yeah, so th the way that I've, I want to say to think about it is that, like I said, um, the, the variation of the problem that I could think of is, um, you know, I think there is, uh, I forget what it's called, but mm, let me see if I could find it real quick. Let call number of subsequences with my, uh, hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't really find with some mod or something. Okay, I can't really find uh, with odd sum right? uh, subsequence, not sub away. Okay, so I apologize. I I don't know on a on, on a Google search. I can oh wait uh nope. Well, apparently there is one f from Geeks for Geeks, but I refuse to click on. Uh, in any case, okay. So my apologies for um, you know. But basically, the idea here is that um, okay. So let's say there is a, a alternate problem where is that find the maximum um, or not the maximum count of uh, subsequences that has the same number, right? So maybe this is. I think there is a. That should be a. Uh, Uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is a legal problem, but I can't find it, so my apologies. But, um, okay. So let's just say that th there's a problem like this, and maybe you could find it, and leave it in the comments, let me know. Uh, I probably have a video on it, I just can't find it right now, because sometimes you know, Google is like that. But yeah, but then the idea here is that... Um, then the idea here is that, let's say you have uh, one, two, three, four... Uh, okay, uh, or maybe just a, a different sequence. Let's just say one two one two one two one, or this one actually. All right, right. Uh, here we go. Okay, we have one, so we've seen one one before, right? Um, and then here, two. So one. Let, let's just say this is a map, right? One. This one count one. Two. This one one count two. And then now, when you see the one, you're gonna um, you're gonna. Well, obviously, you're gonna make it. 
you're going to try to connect it to the previous ones. And here you know that the longest is going to be one, or you've seen one one before. So then now you want, so that you can make two new subsequences that ends with one, which is one with one and one with one with one one, one with two ones, right? Basically, you can think about this one can generate two sequences: one that is of one length, and then the second one is going to be uh, this length, right? Of two elements, two ones. Ignore the two for now. Uh, pretend the two isn't there, right? And so forth. And the way that, you know, I mean, so this is a problem that we kind of talked about in the past. Um, and having that will give you insight about this particular problem, right? It's because, um, yeah, right? And then now the, the thing that's different is, is that, like I said, uh, now we want to find the max of subsequences that have the same number. Well, now, instead of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus whatever, dot, 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 uh, because this one, we have three, because you can have one, one, two ones, three ones. So that, 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 right? Uh, now we want the max. So now it's going to be one. And then when you see the second one, you know that, well, we've, we've seen one, one before. So we know that we can make a subsequence of two ones. So this is going to be two. This, And then the next one's going to be three, dot, dot, dot. And it, or it ends up being just the count of the number ones. And so maybe this is, um, you know, it becomes an obvious problem. But I want you to think about how to get there, right? Because the solution is easy. If you, if someone just gave you this problem, I get it. The solution is very easy. You just count the number of each element and stuff like that. But I don't want you to do it that way. I want you to think about it this way, where you're trying to think about max of subsequence that you go to one. So that means that it's this one plus the last one that we saw, this one plus the last one that we saw, dot, 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 kind of almost like a recursive kind of thing, right? Okay. Um, cause I want you to build on that. And now, and then the next thing is that, okay, now are we ready, right? Um, yeah, now let's say we, we're trying to find the subsequence where, um, yeah, uh, where this is true, right? Oops. I think we're ready for this. That's why I was just thinking with. And it turns out that in this particular case, the key thing to notice is that there's the mod two, right? What does mod two mean? Uh, mod two just means that in this particular problem, there are only two answers, right? Uh, or two possible, not answers, sorry, that's the wrong word, but two choices to this thing. That means that this is either you go to uh, zero, or this is equal to one, right? Um, and that's the way that I think there are actual, actually other ways to, to do this, but this is the way that I was thinking about it. Um, yeah. Um, that, uh, oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically there's this and this. And of course, if this is equal to zero, then all the other ones have to equal to zero. And if this is one, then all the other ones have to equal to one. So then now we break into two places, right? So here, two cases. So then here, let's say we have this case. What does this case really mean once you come down to it? That means that either this is even plus even is equal to zero mod two, right? Or odd plus odd, right? So you can handle handle it both ways and and then now um i actually didn't do it this way though it probably makes more sense but yeah um even is equal to even it's going to zero mod two and odd minus mod so then this becomes you know just count count of evens and this is count of odds of course uh I, i'm saying that you could do it this way but i also want you to rethink about what we did right uh let's say we have this uh, the thing that we built up to it, which is that, okay, we have one odd, and then we have a second odd, we have the third odd, and this odd is based on the last odd, and so forth. And I want you to build on it because it's critical for getting the next part, which is, uh, this is equal to one. What does that mean? That means that um, it's either, it starts at even, and then odd plus even plus odd plus dot dot dot, or the other way around, which is odd plus even plus odd plus even plus dot dot dot. Right, and that's basically the idea. Is that um, if another way that, that you can think about it is that okay, let's say the current number 
is an odd number, then now you just find the longest sequence of yevens that you can add one to, to attach yourself to. And the same for yeven. If you if the next number is a yeven number, you just find the biggest or the longest chain of odd uh longest chain where the last number is an odd. So that's basically the idea and that's how I solved uh this problem. Uh let's go over the code real quick now, right? Um so first this one is pretty straightforward in the sense that this is what we said. This is this part, right? Uh even matches even. So if x to, uh, mod 2 is even, then this is going to match. If odd, then also match. And then we just get the max of this. So this is, um, yeah, uh, this is this case. Just copy and paste. So, so sorry for the movement. And then here is the other case, right? Of Okay, so if this is odd, then we want to see the even plus 1. If this is even, then you take the odd plus 1. And then we just take the max of this solution and this solution, and that gives us the answer. So what's the complexity here? Well, we just do O of N here, O of N here, and this is just basically O of um, 2 times N, which is O of N, and that's what we have for this one. Um, yeah, that's what I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, hopefully the explanation's okay. Uh, Q3 is a harder version of this, and we'll definitely go over it, um, but yeah, I... I hope that if you do watch Q3, watch this one first because it just makes it, because uh, I'm, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think and you could watch me solve it live during the contest now. Yeah. So I am just, try I'm, I'm watching too much. Yeah. Uh, well, already not a good contest, but uh, I, I just watched that one. I think I could have just, that was a wild loop and I was trying to do it too cleverly. But okay, are they the same problem? Nope. Two in case. Okay. Uh, we have a seven pointer, so I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, I'm just disappointed in myself. That's just a very silly me trying to, um, yeah. I right, focus, focus. Why is that two? I misunderstood this. Oh no, they're Jiko. Whoops. Uh, it's maximum, right? Am I misunderstanding this for Substance. I'm definitely misunderstanding this problem. How is this for? Am I just like confusing the head? Why is this? Uh, oh, it's one plus this. Okay, I see, I see. Man, I am just. This is a, a rough day today. Um, hmm. Okay, how do I do this? Yeah, mostly understood this problem, right? But 
Yeah, no, just a little bit silliness. I'm, uh, this is so sl Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.